Hey everybody, today we have a classic from Tom Petty, Learning to Fly. He's a guy who has helped me do my job for more than 25 years, and his songs mean a lot to me. There are two rhythm guitar parts in this tune, so let's look at both of them. First of all, we're going to start off with that acoustic 12-string guitar part. Sounds like this. A couple of principles at work here. Don't forget, hold the pick very loosely. On the upstrokes, really just glance off two or three strings on the upstrokes, okay? Don't make an effort to get too many strings on those upstrokes. Nice, light, steady, down, up, down, up, down, up strumming. We have the F chord. Now, some of you might not be quite there yet with the F chord. In the description of this video, there's going to be a link to options for playing an F chord, okay? I'm going to do a typical four-string F chord here. I'm going to start off with a down, up, down. On the next up stroke, I'm switching over to a C. I'm kind of rolling my hand over to the C chord for the next five strokes. Up, down, up, down, up. So we have three on the F, down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, and five on the C. That makes eight, right? In music, you see the numbers like four, eight, sixteen, all over the place. So no surprise that we have an eight-stroke pattern so far. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You're gonna do the same thing now on A minor going to G. Or oh, by the way, when you're going from C to A minor, two of your fingers can stay down, right? Index and middle are already in the right strings. You can wiggle them a little bit to fit in the ring finger. Whatever you do. When you're going from C to A minor, don't lift off your first two fingers, okay? So we have A minor, down, up, down, G, G with your middle ring and pinky, that's the best way to do it for this song, up, down, up, down, up, okay? So we have three F's and five C's, three A minors and five G's, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. You can say it with the downs and ups. Down, up, 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 down, up. Now, that actually is the entire tune. There's one moment as the uh, second chorus goes into the guitar solo where the band stays on that G chord longer. It does the same sequence I've been showing you here, but when it gets to the G chord, A minor to G, down, up, down, down. There's a full eight counts of extra strumming on the G like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it goes into the guitar solo with the same background sequence you already learned, F to C to A minor to G. Okay, other than that one exception, you've got the whole tune now for strumming the rhythm guitar part. What you're actually hearing is the acoustic 12-string guitar for the entire tune, okay? And don't forget, in the description of this video, like I said, there's a link to a video I made on options for F, just in case you're still struggling with uh, any version of the F chord. I'm going to give you some options. Now, speaking of F chord, I'm about to show you what the electric guitar is playing for this tune, and actually the F chord needed for that is a little bit easier than what we just did, so I'm glad you're sticking around. Here comes the electric guitar part. Now, the guitar has a little distortion dialed in on the original recording. Right now, I'm going with a clean sound, just so you can hear everything nice and cleanly. Now, you're still going to play F to C to A minor to G, but because we're being very selective about which strings we pluck, you don't have to do that four string F. In fact, we're really focusing on the second, third, and fourth strings, second, third, and fourth. So I'm not even going to lean over and bar out or make a bar across the two skinny strings. Okay? I might lean over my skin just a little bit. The skin of my finger might lightly dampen out the first string, like that. But what I really have is the second, third, and fourth strings. Now, I'm going to be doing all downstrokes completely with a little bit of palm muting with the edge of my hand. And I'm going to, in general, be emphasizing the heavier strings. Not so much in the F, but with the subsequent ones coming up. Check this out. F, three downstrokes. And you can see the tab on the screen. To C, emphasizing the heavier strings, five strokes. A minor, also emphasizing the heavier strings, three strokes, and G, same deal, five. 
five strokes. Doesn't sound like much yet, right? But let's put it all together. Slowly, one and two, and here we go. No surprise we're using the same chords in the same order, right? F, C, A minor, G. No surprise the combinations are three strums and five, then three strums and five. So, of course, it totally complements and parallels the acoustic guitar part you learned first. But because of the nature of the twanginess of the electric guitar, a little bit of distortion dialed in, it makes for a very, very sweet combination. Nothing like the sound of an acoustic guitar mixed with the sound of an electric guitar. Beautiful thing. So, F to C. Now, if you're playing with someone and they're strumming their regular open position chords, this is a perfect chance for you to get in there and do these smaller, tighter kinds of sounds. Even if you're both playing acoustic guitars or if you're both playing electric guitars, it's a chance for you to, uh, to do something that's not exactly the same as your partner there. Okay, so there you have it. Yet another classic from Tom Petty. Uh, this video is going to go on a playlist of Tom Petty guitar lesson videos, so check for that in the description of this video as well. I've done, uh, I think this is maybe the 11th Tom Petty song that I've done, so uh, check out that playlist for more Tom Petty guitar lesson videos. All right, everybody, that will do it for me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my website down there, Songbike, where you can find tons of videos not found on YouTube. And this series will continue tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow for another riff of the day.